know, I was walking around the innovations building at AirVenture a couple of years ago, spotted a company called Ithra. They put a sharp focus on cockpit biometrics. And over the past couple of years, the company's been expanding the product line, and this is actually one of their latest products. It's a personal size composite oxygen bottle that we've been evaluating here at Aviation Consumer for a long-term report. The company's back at AirVenture this year with even more products. And let's go over to the booth and talk to Jessica Stevens for an update. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is Jim from Ithra, and we're here to talk to you about our new exciting cutting-edge technology for health and oxygen systems. So this year, we're excited to bring to Oshkosh some brand new products that help with hypoxia. As you know, last year we debuted our Illyrian system to help monitor your pulse oximetry, but this year we've taken a step further, and we have introduced the new system for small bottle oxygen. We have a nice 47 liter bottle fixed flow rate that you can actually just plug in your cannula and go and it'll get you two hours of oxygen. The bottle weighs about three pounds full. It's very light, carbon fiber and aluminum. But the newest exciting thing is the AVI-8. The AVI-8 system is our smart pulse with microburst technology. It's the first ever technology to exist. So it's kind of really exciting for us. It uses optical technology to detect inhalation through the tubing. A lot of systems use pressure, which can degrade over the length of the tubing. But with our optical technology, it's able to sense molecules moving within the tubing and able to detect the patterns of your breath and deliver it within this very tiny period. And it just doesn't deliver a big gulp of water, like a big breath of oxygen. It delivers it very quickly over these timed microbursts during your inhalation process. And Jim here is wearing it, and you can, I know it's probably difficult, but literally every time he's making an inhale, it's making very small so the oxygen isn't wasted. You're getting the maximum use, it's at least four times the waste that you would have with other um, oxygen systems that help, you know, reduce waste. And we're able to do it with our small bottle technology. This is a 152 liter bottle, and with two people using our Smart Pulse technology, I can get you over 20 hours of oxygen technology. So if you and your co-pilot have different separate needs, independently it will deliver Jim, let's say he has a lesser need than I do, the exact amount that he needs, and then it will deliver me my independent. A lot of systems will deliver the same amount through both. So it's very individualized for the passenger and the pilot. Other great options about the system is that it also monitors your tank pressure. So all this information goes through our incredible Ithra Connect app, which allows you to see your pulse oximetry, allows you to see your tank pressure, allows you to see your altitude, all of this within our free app that you're able to use to collect more data information within it. And so you can better understand how you react to hypoxia and altitude. And my background is that I'm an Army combat trauma nurse trained. And so for me, when I came into the pilot community and Jim was brought me on the team, I was really excited that he was able to see um, the use of having the medical background because I think there's a gap in the knowledge of whether or not what hypoxia is. And so we've actually had a lot of questions from pilots who say, well, what is it? What, is there a number? What number is that? I'm at 85. I think that's okay. And so there's a lot of education that goes around with being able to help pilots understand the levels of hypoxia and that 93% and above is like a normal place where we all want to be. But when you start dropping below, that that's not a healthy place for you. And when you're hypoxic, you're not going to know that I need to check with the finger pull socks or I need to deliver oxygen. You know, at that point, you may be euphoric. Someone may be sleeping in the back. I mean, that's how those kind of tragedies happen or people first experience hypoxia and they may not be able to put it down to something. So I like being able to bridge the gap there where I can talk with pilots about where their gaps and needs are for needing oxygen and actually being able to manage and monitor their pulse oxes while they're flying for their safety and their passengers.